My dress is too small. I wanted to be tucked in and secure. I didn't want to fall out in any spots. <laughs> don't want this area to be too risque. Cover up the, the imperfections. Every woman wants to look stunning on her wedding day. Now, help is on the way for bulging brides. No more. What? What do you mean more? Read out. Meet Andrea. Her wedding dress is pulled so tight over her bulges that there is nothing left to the imagination. Oh yeah, okay, this? Not, not sexy. I think you've been eating a little too many oh, chicken wings my goodness. late at night. Are you serious? I got a back bomb for my wedding. It doesn't make me feel sexy like I should on my wedding day. Andrea's letting it all hang out in that slim fitting dress. Good thing for her, we've got plans, big plans. <laughs> I only have a few weeks, and I don't know what. Andrea. <laughs> what? Tell me you're a personal trainer. Oh my gosh! Hi. Ready, hey. Bowman, nutrition specialist. Nice to meet you. You're gonna need this. Keep track of absolutely everything you eat and drink. Okay. This is your uniform. Okay. Yeah, I'm very worried. I don't know how I'm gonna fit into this dress. <laughs> you gotta pull your weight. It's just oh. like marriage. Oh. Does Andrea have the strength and determination she'll need to fit into her dress before the big day? Or is she doomed to be no change. a bulging bride? Still doesn't fit nearly as well as I want it to. She's a little scary. My wedding is gonna be in Cuba on the beach, but I'm not so excited about wearing a wedding dress that doesn't quite fit. Can we get two poutines, please? So Melissa and I, we are poutine queens. Oh, that was That's a good fun. one. <laughs> Nachos are our favorites. Nachos we'll do on our own. That, that was kind of our late night snack. Is that low fat sour cream? Uh-uh. Trevor and I do a fair amount of drinking, like socially. It is quite normal for us to go out with our friends two, three times a week. I wasn't expecting to have this much to do still. We'll have time, don't worry. We react to situations completely differently. <laughs> she gets a little stressed out, I just, I don't know, how would you describe it? Uh, you're just relaxed. Oh. You gotta suck it in. The dress is not so sexy when you have back fat hanging over the edges. If I don't get rid of that, it's, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm Tommy Europe, personal trainer. This is my partner, nutrition coach Nadine Bowman. We're on a mission to help brides look great on their big day. Andrea's busy social life is leading her down the path of too much booze and fatty snacks. Andrea, welcome to your Isle of Shame. This is where we take an in-depth look at those foods that are making you bulge out of that wedding dress. First stop along the way, this is what I call the big squeeze. You're overdoing it in every way here. The wings alone are 1,500 calories. Then you add on the 400 calories worth of dip. You're eating more than a day's worth of calories just in this little pile. Plus your 1,000 calorie, just in the cheese, nachos, just this one evening out with the friends, 5,600 calories. Holy. And this is just the beginning. This is called Naughty Nights, a week's worth of your late night eating. You're doing okay with the fruit. You need fruit in your diet, but then you ruin it with ice cream. Calorie-wise, 8,500, just in your late night <sighs> snacking for a week. This is called Pack and Poutine. One month's worth of your poutine and booze intake. <laughs> wow. This is six servings of poutine. That's what you're eating in a month, and that comes out to 4,800 calories. <laughs> then it gets better. You're adding on 9,000 calories and booze a month. It goes right to the midsection, right to that pot. One month of this, 13,800 calories. This is insane. You got that right, sister. Let's see how it's affecting your body shape. All right, come on. Hello, Andrea. Hello. Today's your shape analysis. We'll be compiling some measurements, weight. We're gonna use it in the future for comparison purposes. Bust, 35 inches. Waist, 29. Hips, 39. Kendra, time to get up on the scale. Weight, 
138 pounds. You're five foot four, wear a dress size of six, weighing in at 138 pounds. Your body type is a pear shape. What do you think of all those numbers? They're a little scary. I think I have a lot of work to do. Well, you're right. You do have a lot of work to do. One thing we have to do first. We need to try on that dress and get a starting point. Andrea, meet Jean. She'll be your seamstress. Hello. Hi. Let's try this on. Sure. Can't, can't really breathe very well. No. And the hips and the thighs. Here she comes. I that is tight. Jean, give us the specs. Well, this is a really pretty 1940s style slim silhouette dress, which does not make it a very forgiving dress. The Empire waistline is really flattering to her bust line but not so flattering to her lower torso. Also from the back, this is really pretty, this bare back feature. There's a cross detailing with a scarf, but spilling over the top here, a bit of back cleavage, and it's already riding up in the back. Right. Okay, well, the abdominals and core work are gonna be very important. Yeah, we want that flat. On to the back. We definitely need to work this off. It's a great looking dress, and uh, we gotta be able to do it up. <laughs> do you swear to stick by your meal plan? Do you vow to stick to your fitness plan? I do. We've got six weeks to tone up Andrea's arms, slim down her waist, and take inches off her hips. Because it's so light and simple, it really is unforgiving. It shows everything. How are you doing, Andrea? I'm doing well, thanks. How are you? Excellent. Welcome to Tommy's Playground. Now, you're going to pull your weight. Run it right around the pole. you got to pull your weight. It's just like marriage. Look, at now you're tired. She's been pretty inactive for the last few years. That's going to be the main stumbling block. Just get her going, keep her going. Time to beat him into submission. Come on. Uh, Harder. Uh, Come on, Andrea. Uh, uh, That's what marriage is all about. Keep it going. Don't give up. Don't give up. And uh, one. Work on those lower abdominals. Think about the dress. Oh, God. Oh. The dress really shows off the little tummy or the little gut I got going on. But I hate working that area. Just like marriage, it's time to take a big step. This is a big step. And the ass is doing pretty good too. I like step class, don't get me wrong, but that step was probably two or three times the height of a step that I normally do, and that was really tough. Good. Oh. Cardio-wise, we got some work to do. Endurance, especially in your lower body, needs some work. And that's where we're gonna lose some inches, hopefully. So I'm gonna need your full focus six weeks. You got it? I got it. All right. Finding time to do the exercise, finding time to eat, what I'm supposed to do, all that stuff is gonna be really tough to fit in. It's kitchen purge time, Andrea. Wow. Whipped cream, grab those. Those are just pure fat. Mom! Oh, you love this. You drink it with rum. I do love it. Sugar, 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 sugar. Holy dairy farm. Is this for like a family of eight? This girl is going for big portions, huge portions. She's basically just putting on weight by getting this stuff in the house, and we needed to get it out. That thing is empty. Next. What's the point of going to a steakhouse if you're not gonna get drunk? <laughs> it's oh, my your diet. <laughs> At least we're gonna have the party. Boy. Andrea's love of social drinking and eating has left her bulging out of an unforgiving wedding dress. And she's only got six weeks until the big day. Finding time to do the exercise, finding time to eat what I'm supposed to, all that stuff is gonna be really tough to fit in. You and Trevor, you guys like to drink a lot and eat a lot of pub food. You keep that up, this is what can happen to you. Wow. <laughs> That's the result of gaining five pounds a year. So by your fifth wedding anniversary, you'd be weighing in at 170 pounds. That's horrible. Is that what you want? No. Well, kind of gross, actually. If you stick to the meal plan and stick to the fitness plan that I'll make for you, you could look like this. Is 
much better. So option A or option B? I'll go with option B. Okay, option B starts right now. You'll start to feel it through your legs. Keep your butt down. Keep it going, how those legs feeling? They're burning. Andrea holds her weight in her lower body primarily. Um, she's got some loose skin through her back and through her arms um, that definitely need to get toned up. Off, you're gonna be push up position now, as fast as you can. Oh jeez. Twist, 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 keep your body straight. It's gonna work your scapula, working your core. This is really gonna work your upper back nicely. She only sees me a couple times a week and she's gonna be responsible for three to four days a week doing her own cardio, adding a bit of resistance training, as well as some abdominal work. Ugh. There you go. These are so painful. They're gonna work. Yeah, I'm a little bit worried about keeping up with these workouts because those exercises that Tommy's got me doing are really difficult and really tough, but my biggest fear at the end of the day is fitting into that dress. Andrea, this is one example of a day in the life of your new plan. Breakfast. This is an omelet. We've got three egg whites, one with yolk. Lunch. One soup, this is a cup and a half of soup, it's vegetable. Then you've got one cup of veggies and a half cup of cottage cheese. Moving on to dinner, you've got the taco salad minus the taco. And the beef is gonna be lean. Yeah. Okay, and it's four ounces. As far as, you know, being in situations around your wedding, like your stay get, tell your friends not to buy you shooters, not to buy you drinks, okay? If they wanna help you, soda, water, and wine. This is a do or die situation. If she does not stick to the meal plan, if she has a couple drinks with friends at her stag or has a couple wings or nachos, she is not gonna fit into that dress. Apparently, I'm not allowed to drink at my stag yet, so that's definitely gonna be tough. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to stick to that. I'm gonna try my best, but uh, I don't know. It's, like I said, a lot of peer pressure from friends. What's the point of going to a steak if you're not gonna get drunk? It's supposed to be your one last hurrah. And what kind of a hurrah is it without booze? Thank you so much for your diet. Oh my God, what did I get myself into? How are you feeling? Kinda of like ass. Andrea thinks she was safe. Eating cake, destroying manhood. Yeah, I saw that. What's up girls? Come on inside. Yay. Welcome to Latin Funk Dance, girls. Gustavo's gonna take you guys through a very intense workout. That's what you get for cheating. Oh. So you ready to dance? Yeah. yeah. Okay, vamonos. Oh. This is the merengue, right? Hip side to side, all right? Down and up, we're gonna turn to the left. Turn it, merengue. Let me see those hips moving now. Yeah, not, not feeling so good. A um, little hungover, definitely. Uh, had a slice of pizza, it's uh, not sitting all that well last night. Ready for the mambo? Let's go. Forward, back. Let me see the right leg forward, back. Move your hips, four counts, one. I chose this exercise for Andrea today because number one, she's going to Cuba. Number two, all that hip movement is gonna hit those target areas. Down. <laughs> yep, we're gonna close it now. One at a time. Andrea, you you're go. so dead. Woo! It's your fault. Oh, thank you guys for getting me so drunk. <laughs> Towards the end and the middle, I really started to feel it. Really was getting tired, wasn't sure if I was gonna make it. One, two, and back. Last time, and then get one. Right leg, forward. Yes! Woo! Good job, ladies, nice girls. <laughs> You don't have much time left. No. We can't have slip ups like this. So she's got to reevaluate and reassess and uh, focus. The next time, it won't be as fun. Yeah. Got it? Got it. Next. No change. It's very tight in the waist. It still doesn't fit. It's a little scary. Andrea had fun at her stag end. Maybe a little too much fun. I'm working really, really hard, and Tommy's just pushing me to my limits. And I'm really scared that it's still not going to be enough. It's time to weigh in at the halfway point. Hello. Ready to see your numbers? I guess so. Bust. 33 inches. You're down two inches. What happened? Waist. 27. Down two inches. Yay. Hips, 39. No change. Nothing. Devastating. Nada. Up on the scale. Weight, 100. 
34 pounds. Down four pounds. How do you feel about those numbers? They're okay, but I still have some more work to do, it's for sure. Room for improvement? Yes. All right. Well, the numbers don't matter as much as how you look in the dress. So let's go try it on. Let's go. Yeah, still a little Pulling tight. Bit here, yeah. yeah. How are you girls doing in there? She's ready. Okay. Jean, what can we do? Well, guys, she did lose inches off the waist, but it does not matter because it's still so tight in the hips, it's riding up, making the waist look bad, still a bit bulgy in the front and the back. This back cleavage is still happening, some fleshy bits on the side. It's riding up in the back and in the hips. Still a bit more work to go, I think. How are you feeling? Not great, but okay. Well, you've worked very hard for the last three weeks, but these next three weeks will be something you've never experienced before. Okay. Tommy and I know exactly what to do, okay? So just listen to us, commit, and we'll get it done. All right. It's just tough, because you're working really hard and you hope to see improvements, and it just doesn't, still doesn't fit even nearly as well as I want it to, so it's just a little scary. I just want to have a look at a couple of the bikinis over here. That would okay. Be pretty. Getting married on the beach, I obviously want to have a nice bikini for my wedding. Hey, hon, how are you doing in there? I am not even coming out. Like, what? It's just horrible. Oh, it can't be that bad. Yeah, it really is, and this is seriously the last thing I need. Yeah, now not only do I need to worry about all the things I still need to do for the wedding, now I'm going to be staying up at night worrying about how I'm not going to be fitting into this bikini or my wedding dress. Next. Come on, you're slowing down. Oh, God, I don't know if I can make it, baby. Hips. This is the one I'm most nervous about. Andrea has been working out hard and sticking to her meal plan, but she wasn't happy with her results at the halfway point. No change. It's a little scary. A little bit discouraging. Now it's Trevor's turn to show his support. Andrea, today's your partner challenge. We've got a six kilometer hill run. Going along the river, up the side of a mountain. Ready for it? Those knees up, quick feet. I was totally freaked out when Tommy said we're going 6K up the side of the mountain. Damn, they're on my heels. Got to pick up the pace. Come on, let's go. Oh, my God. The trail was about six kilometers, um, but 80% of it was uphill. Very heavy, heavy on the legs. Come on, you're slowing down. Oh, my God. I don't know if I can make it, baby. What do you think of uh, your fiance's performance? Oh, she's done wonderful. How do you feel? I feel tired, but uh, I'm really proud of myself for getting through that. that was, mm -hmm. I never thought I could do something like that. Well, you guys did a great job. And you know what? You acted as a team. All that's left now, try and get Andrea into that dress. How you doing, Andrea? Pretty good. You're nervous. Yeah. A little bit. Bust, 32 inches. All right. All right, you've lost three inches. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Waist, 25. Awesome. That's four inches. Wow. What about this area? Oh, this is the one I'm most nervous about. Hips, 38. You've lost one inch. That's better than last time. Mm -hmm. Now, the weight. Weight, 100. 30 pounds. Okay. All right, you've lost eight pounds. It's pretty good. I was really hoping to make it into the 120s. You're down eight pounds, eight inches. Let's try on that dress. All right, that's what matters. Oh, I hope it does well. As a surprise for Andrea, I invited her best friend, Melissa, and her mom for the final fitting. Here she comes. <laughs> <laughs> It's gonna make me cry again. <laughs> what a difference. Oh, Holy. So good. Thank you. <laughs> you got the jewelry to fit it. Right? What a difference a few weeks makes. Yeah. How do you feel? I feel amazing. Jean, 
Tell us about the changes throughout the dress. What a difference indeed. Remember three weeks ago, it was so tight in the waist and in the hips. It was actually cutting into her waist, creating these lines. Now it glides across smoothly. It's gorgeous. And in the back, there's no spillage. It's not pulling anymore, so the placket is laying nice and flat. It's old school Hollywood glamour. She pulls it off beautifully. Good job. Way to go, Andrea. It's been a pleasure working The dress went on so well, and it did up so easily. I couldn't believe it when she did it up. It was a really good feeling. When the curtains opened up, I saw my mom and my maid of honor, my best friend, Melissa. They're both very important people to me, and so it meant a lot for them to be here. I'm just very happy for her. Just looking at them, they can see exactly what Andrea's gone through and saw that transformation. And uh, you know what? It's, uh, it's a great day. Andrea worked extremely hard and lost eight pounds and eight inches. She'll look beautiful for her tropical wedding. It was really tough, but knowing that I could do it was just unbelievable. It's such a great feeling. I just feel like I have more energy and feel better about myself all around. It's all been very good and positive things that I've gained and I'm really happy with the results and I'm going to keep working hard and make sure I lose that last couple of pounds that I was hoping to.